Hi, Taurus, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from July 3rd to the 10th of 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so very happy to be here with you at this time. So um, as you can see, I'm in a new location. Um, so something happened to me in May or sometime around May. I had divine intervention take place twice in my life. And you know how that means when divine intervention takes place, something has to change, halt, something take, that came through where it had stopped me to do my readings for a while. And well, right now I'm in a new location. I really love it. It's very peaceful here, a lot of light. You could see me without any interactions or distractions or anything like that. And I will eventually tell you what took place, but at this time, Spirit says I cannot speak about it, so I honor that. But it's, it's not bad news, it's good news, but I just cannot talk about it at this time. Now, I wanna thank all of you here, Taurus, for all the beautiful messages that you have been giving my mom. She is like overwhelmed because I translate all the messages to her and she is overwhelmed with joy and you know she cries sometimes but they're just uh, tears of joy you know of, of, of uh, she didn't know that she had that type of, uh, type of effect to everybody you know and so um she's been reading all the messages i've been translating her and so she tells me to tell you that she will continue praying for you three times a day with her prayer group okay with her rosary beads and she's sending you love and light she's sending you health She's sending whatever it is that in your heart that you will need. She is sending it to you. And she thanks you very much. And I also thank you very much for like also praying for my mom and sending her love and light. Especially at these times where the ascension symptoms, uh, the light that's coming through is very hard on the elder. Well, even hard on us, but imagine the elderly, right? So she's very, very grateful. And uh, so I wanted to bring that up. Uh, for those of you that have been with me for a very long time, Taurus, or halfway through, or you're recently here or new to my channel, because there's a lot of new people here, and I do have to say some of the things the same, because I want everybody to know, okay, is that I am a psychic medium, and I'm active in my community now for, for 25 years, going on 26 years, and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine, and I use the cards as a tool on YouTube. Now, I'm in my community. Oh, yes, I do carry my cards always with me, and someone wants a reading, I'll pop a few cards, or I'll give a reading. Um, but most of the time, I just channel messages through to all the souls out there. Uh, so I want to thank everybody here again. And uh, underneath the video, you will notice there's a link for crystals with my name on it. So if you press that link, you'll get 10% off crystals. The website is amazing. There's so many beautiful, rare gems and crystals that they, they have on that. But if there's a crystal that you're looking for and you can't find it there, all you need to do is write to them and they will take care of you. Then underneath the video, for those of you that are waiting for me on Patreon, I'm sorry, divine intervention took place. It's gonna take longer for me to get on Patreon, but I will get there. And when I do, I will start posting videos and I'll be with you one-on-one. -on -one. But in the meantime, I am just gonna you. Uh, use the YouTube channel. But if you do want to join me on Patreon, there is a link there. Also, you'll see a link of all when your sign is going to be up. Then uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook for inspirational uh, post, it's Patricia Luna. For those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patricia underscore 1111, where I do come on randomly to give free readings and anything else that you need to know, there's my email address. So there's many ways in how you could um, how you can support me, my beautiful Taurus gang, hashtag Taurus gang, is uh, by subscribing, of course, by liking, by also pressing the, video, uh, the notification bell that says all on it, uh, by commenting, sharing, of course, and watching the video fully will keep me very strong on the placement here on YouTube. So again, thank you so much for all your beautiful love and support. And let's get started with your reading because I'm super, super excited. So this is your reading from uh, July 3rd to July 10th, 2020. Uh, what I have in front of me is the singing bowl. And the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space. And I will do the same thing for you. But I'm also going to send out love and light to all of you. Protection, peace, and anything that you desire. All you need to do is while I ring the singing bowl is to take a deep breath in and then excel. Okay, so let's get started.
Perfect. So let's go with your affirmation of the week. Your affirmation is death. And don't take it literally. It's death and rebirth that's taking place for you. And I just saw one, one, one. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Our, what the angels are telling you is to stand in your integrity, Taurus. It says, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. You do what is right for you, Taurus. Archangel Raphael is telling you leadership. It says you take charge of the situation. It's time to take charge of the situation. And last but not least, you got trust. It says here, your divine counterpart is already in your life. I need to trust in the divine plan at this time. So it's all in divine timing. So now I'm going to take out my cards and I'm going to show you where you are right now. Okay, your, uh, what spirit wants you to focus on? Your recent past, what's coming towards you? What spirit wants you to know? And your possible future. So I'm very happy to be here. I hope that you're all doing well. How are you, Taurus? Are you doing well? I hope that you are. Okay, and I'm so very, so very grateful and thankful for all of you here. So let's get started with your reading right away. I'm going to cut the cards in three blocks here. And I'm going to put them down and then I'm going to tell you what the, the cards are, okay? cards are just coming out bang 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 there we go so overall energy you got the page of cups this is a beginning of some type of emotions for you it could be emotions about your life in general about life it could be about a friendship that that's there it could be with a child of yours but there's a new type of emotion that's taking place here with an individual where you are right now, you are like the hangman reversed, which means that you are not in the loop of a situation. You got yourself out of a loop. You got yourself out of a situation. Okay, you drop something. And for others of you, it could also mean some type of missed opportunity. What's challenging you is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups talks about the past, okay? Like looking into the past, having nostalgic moments about the past, about your childhood, or this has to do with something of the past. What Spirit wants you to focus on is the Seven of Wands energy. The Seven of Wands talks about that there's been a lot of energies around you, people trying to interfere. Whatever it is, you rose above the situation. For those of you that do not know this, you have risen above it. In the past till now, you got the Four of Cups. So there is some type of message here that the Spirit is trying to show you something. Okay, maybe something, someone... Okay, and you are not interested. You don't want to be bothered by it. You're not even looking at the three cups in front of you. Okay, so there's some sense of opportunity that's here for you. What is above you? You've got the six of wands energy. So the six of wands talks about victory. This could be victory personally to you. Someone coming in that is very victorious and known in this community. Or this is yourself being recognized. Or it's whatever situation this is, it talks about a situation where... There is victory and passion, and it's very beautiful. What's coming towards you is a break. And it's so weird because I just did the Aries reading, and the same card fell at the same place. So uh, maybe some of you have Aries in your chart, or you're dealing, Taurus, with an Aries energy. But what I see here is some type of break, some type of retreat, recharge for you, or just taking a break, of course, or just uh, some type of break up, okay? Uh, in the seventh position, I got the Knight of Wands reversed. There's someone that's not, maybe someone from the past uh, that kept coming in and out of your life, uh, some type of missed opportunity. Well, this person is not coming in at this time. What Spirit wants you to know is you got the Ace of Pentacles. There's some type of gift that's coming towards you. It could also be money. It could be any type of gift, okay? I know, I went through it. I'll let you know eventually what it is. But there is some type of gift that's coming in that's going to help you. In the ninth position, you got the two of cups energy, two people coming in with the heart chakra. So there is a love a relationship here for some of you. There is some type of relationship. 
And in the last card, you got the moon reverse, which is my Neptune card. So you're not seeing illusions anymore. You're seeing for you're seeing something for what it really is. Um, you're not you're you're some of you went also through the dark night of the soul. You released all this, you're releasing the fears, and you're getting a lot of unusual dreams at this time. Or you're dealing with a Piscean energy, and there is some type of secret that will be coming to the forefront for you, but it doesn't have to be negative. Okay, so now let's look at the cards and let's start clarifying. What's going on here? Let's look at the hangman reverse and what this is all about. You got the eight of pentacles reversed. You got the two of wands and uh, swords, I'm sorry, and the knight of cups. Okay, so there's something that you gave up on. Okay, this, this is like giving up on a situation, not looking at the situation with the eight of pentacles reversed. And the thing is, is that some of you know that you have a path to choose. You have a path to take. But a lot of you still have the veil over your eyes. You need to remove that veil and take that path. Okay, this is not something of a decision like now. Okay, do I eat an apple or an orange? No, this is something that's been on your mind for a very, very long time. And there's stalemate, okay, stagnation here. So there is a path that has to be taken. And what I see is there is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It doesn't have to be that sign, but there's someone coming in. Or it's you, Taurus, that wants to show love to somebody else, be romantic with somebody else, bring love to somebody else, or there's someone coming in for you at this time. Now, let's look at the Six of Cups energy. Let's look at the Six of Cups. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. You've got the Three of Swords. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. And you got the Ten of Pentacles. Very, very good when it comes to terms of money or Pentacles. So you are reevaluating everything. Maybe you're reevaluating everything from your past, how far you come. There's a lot of heartbreak with this, you know, I feel because uh, Taurus, uh, a lot of people don't know this about you, but you are, you Tauruses are very, very, very sensitive, okay? And people don't know that. They see the bowl instead, but they don't see your heart. But I see your heart. And I know that a lot of you are suffering or still suffering and still there's still healings that need to be taken from the past, okay? Because I do see that there's a healing that needs to be done here for you. And uh, some of you are still single, okay? Not all of you are in a relationship here. So this will resonate with for whoever it has to resonate with. But with the Nine of Pentacles, it shows that you could take care of yourself. You could also like take a break also and just like do nothing in the daytime if you want to. And all of you are, are also, uh, you're, you're not codependent to anybody, okay? You are self-sufficient. You take care of your own needs. You have your own resources. You're also very much in touch with nature. You love nature very much. And I got the Ten of Pentacles. And for me, that means that there's unexpected money coming in, a large sum of money or inheritance money. Or this could mean a, a business partnership that's coming in together, two people. Or it could also be love. Or whatever situation that you're in right now, it's just, it shows me that, there's sta that it's stable here. Okay, this could be in your finances or your relationship. Depends where you are at. But you need to take care of this. This is something that needs to be taken care of. Okay? And do the healing that needs to be done. Let's look at the seven of wands, what spirit wants you to focus on. So he's saying here, or she's saying here, that you rose, you rose above the situation. Okay. You rose above the situation, whatever it was, whatever energies were interfering. Taurus. Okay. So. You rose above the situation, okay? That's what they want you to focus on. Some of you, this has to do with a father figure, a father, or this has to do with business. This means about commitment, stability in your life. This could be also you in this energy, or you're dealing with an Aries energy here, or someone that acts like an Aries energy. And this talks about where everything is under control. Everything is under control. You're setting up new rules and boundaries, maybe in your business life or in your home life, but there's something happening there. With the four of wands, it talks about some type of proposal. 
Maybe some of you are gonna be asked out on a date. Maybe some of you are gonna be buying a home together with someone. Maybe you're gonna get married. Maybe, you're gonna, maybe marriage, moving in together, but there is some type of proposal and joy that's taking place here. And you got the lover's card, Gemini energy. This, it could be a soulmate, a twin flame, a friend. Uh, it could be anybody that's coming in. This is a very strong magnetic, magnetic love situation that's taking place here for you. So this is what they want you to focus on. Okay. So let's look at the four of cups energy from the recent past something that you are not wanting to look. You got the 10 of wands reversed, which is a good card. You got the hermit, Virgo energy, doesn't have to be. This took, I think for some of you, this, this took place in the month of, uh, of uh, August and September, for some of you of 2019, okay? Or it could be just recently now. So there's something that you're overlooking, you're not looking at, or you don't wanna see, okay? You're really like fed up. And the Ten of Wands reverse is a very good card because you released something that was really heavy on you. Maybe you needed time to recharge and you got the time. You're dealing with a Virgo. If not, you went within in the past and you followed your own path. Okay, this is about you going within and following your own path. It's about you tapping into your energy. It's also about you, um, uh, you know, having time to reflect on, on situations and meditate and really take time out from everyone. And there, what I'm seeing is that after this situation or after this that took place, there's someone coming in sharing the same goals and values for you. So they're sharing the same goals, they're joining up with you, same vision, and they're moving forward. Now let's look at the six of wands energy of what is above you. So this is victory is what I see here. You got the nine of one uh, swords. So you got the nine of swords. You got the five of cups reversed. And the tower reversed. Okay. So some of you are not sleeping at night. You're awake till late hours. There's a lot of overthinking and over analyzing it could also be the energies that we've been experiencing now okay that keeps you worried but this, this is a fear-based worry okay and that something did take place with divine intervention came through where some type of unexpected change had to take place in your life because some of you have been asking for divine intervention and with the five of cups reversed it shows me that you overcame or you will overcome the situation okay meaning that you will find the silver lining you will know that everything happens for a reason and that you will overcome these emotions and be okay this also talks to me about some type of reconciliation or forgiveness as well and what they're showing me is that it will be victorious so this is what is taking place okay now let's look at the four of swords energy taurus what's coming towards you you got the four of swords the three of cups you got the four of pentacles and the six of swords so there is a break that's being intended recharge a breakup something is happening where you're taking a break you will be taking another break and there's going to be a lot of celebration around you with your closest friends and family. There is a situation around you. With the Four of Pentacles, it feels like you're giving your power away to me, Taurus, or in some way or fashion. Or you're giving too much of something of yourself, or you're not to the people that do deserve it. Or not, you know what I mean, right? To the people that really need it sometimes. Or you're spending too much of your money, which I doubt it, because Taurus... You guys don't spend a lot of money. You spend money, but, you know, not in that way or fashion recklessly. But there's some type of power. And and, and it's showing me that uh, you're, a lot of you are going to start mending your heart chakra because your heart chakra is blocked here, okay? But what I do see is that you're going through a transition from a time of difficulty. You're going to be going to a time of uh, resting and taking care of yourself, self-care. Uh, this is a transition you're going through because this could also be that you're going to be relocating or moving for some of you could also mean vacationing as well so now let's look at the knight of wands reversed and what is this all about this this, this knight of wands reversed why is it reversed so i got the five of pentacles reversed justice reversed
And when the cards are reversed, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, okay? It does not mean that. It means that sometimes there's a delay. So you got the Knight of Wands reversed, you got the Justice reversed, and the Five of Pentacles reversed. You're going to overcome the situation where you've been feeling left in the dark or lacking of money or lacking of something. Uh, there's help and you overcame this. So it's showing me already that you're overcoming a lot and that's something to be very thankful for. Whoever this energy is that is not coming in, whether it's a Libra or a Sagittarius or Aries, whatever it is for you, whoever sign it is, just know that uh, at this time they're not coming in. Uh, something is not uh, being truthful or someone's not being truthful. Something is really off balance with the situation at this time and it will be like that till october of 2020 after october 2020 we will see but right now this is what they're telling me that you have the wheel of fortune and this is great taurus that means that you're getting second chances at something okay whatever it is that in your heart that you uh, know or feel this talks about um coming full circle yes luck destiny and profound changes that will take place in your life now let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Knight. This is what Spirit wants you to know. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups energy. Okay. Hold on. And you got the Fool card. Nice. So you got a gift that's coming in. It could be monetary. It could be anything. But there's something coming in from the universe for all the hard work. And you will be getting an unexpected message coming in. Very truthful, okay? Very truthful and clear. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone that's really emotionally available, okay? They know how to use their words. They know how to, how to express themselves. So there is a new beginning that's taking place. This is divinely guided for you. And this is what the Spirit wants you to know, is that this is divinely guided and what I see up to now is positive. I'm not seeing anything negative with these cards. Okay, so now let's look at the Two of Cups energy here that I was telling you about. Let's look at that Two of Cups energy. You got the King of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups, very nice. And that's a sign, Taurus. You got the Page of Wands and you got the Sun card. <laughs> Spirit works in mysterious ways. You got the Two of Cups energy, two people coming in together. You're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, someone that is grounded. This could be also you and your, that you are at this. This is someone that is, uh, um, very much grounded, uh, successful, um, you know, and worked very hard, reliable, uh, the different type of energy than what you're probably more used to, okay? Uh, with the Ten of Cups, this is a soulmate energy. It's being content, being happy in a home, peacefulness, okay? And with the rainbows here, that this type of energy, whatever this relationship is, is going to bring you a lot of blessings, Again, with the Page of Wands, this is all in divine timing. And this is exactly what it is. This is my divine timing card. You've been seeing all the sign stores, right? You've been seeing them. You've been feeling them. And they're coming in. This is also a new beginning of passion, some type of passion. And you've got the Sun card. This is all the positive vibes that you could feel. Success, positive vibes. The universe is agreeing on your path and where you come from this far. And it's like a metaphor of a slingshot, right? You pull it all the way back, 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 and you just let it go and see how far it gets. That's how they're going to do this with you, okay? This is really powerful and very good. Now, let's look at the moon reversed in your last card. Why is the moon reversed here? You got the death card. Twice you got that card. There's a death and rebirth, okay? Okay. The King of Swords energy. So you got the you got okay. I'm just trying to see what you got here. Okay, you got the moon reversed. Okay. 
okay with soft cards like your man. Okay. You got the moon reversed. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio energy. This could also mean it's the death and the rebirth of the moon reversed, meaning of releasing all your fears, releasing everything that you have to go through, especially the dark night of the soul. This means that there's profound changes taking place in your life. And there's a death and rebirth that's taking place completely at this moment now. I got the King of Swords energy. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. If it's not, this could be your energy where you're more laid back. Um, when you see uh, obstacles or some type of situation arising, you will take them. You will be able to find the solutions with it. Sorry about that interruption. So the King of Swords energy, okay? It just talks about this could be the energy that you're in where you're seeing things clearly. There's a lot of solution, a lot of great communication taking place. Okay, and uh, it's about fixing everything that's around you. Or you're dealing with a type of lawyer. If some of you, this has to do with a court case, I see right now that uh, it's, you might have a good solution at the end, but at this time, if you are going to court, something is off balance, okay, for some of you. But for others of you, it just means that this is, is, this is uh, the, your heart and your heart and your mind is together in one when you make your decisions. There is someone coming towards you, okay? It could be a Taurus or a Virgo energy. They're taking their time at this time. They're taking their time, because, but they're taking their time because that's the type of energy they have here. It doesn't have to be that sign. It could be any sign. They're taking their time to reevaluate everything. And when they come in, they're the type of people that really do have your back, like I have your back. That type of energy that people that really care about you. And they believe in you and your goals, whether this is work or a friendship or love. And I do see like with the page of swords energy that there is a, someone that maybe you're talking to, uh, could be a, younger, you're having a lot of conversations or someone is envious around you, uh, Taurus. It could also mean at the same time that someone's watching you on social media, nothing dangerous or anything like that, don't worry. Uh, but they're just watching to see what you're doing. So now I'm gonna take another card for all of these cards because I need to ask a question. Like what is the end result to this? situation with the king of swords the knight of pentacles wait a second i need to okay yeah the death card and the moon reversed well you're going to be putting up new rules and new boundaries that's for sure and you're going to be blocking something out of your life it could be for some of you and it also talks about where this is all your life experiences and what you've been through. And some of you are still like forging ahead. Okay. You're carrying a lot on your shoulders. You're frustrated, but you're still moving ahead. This could be about a mother figure for some of you. Okay. Uh, Empress. This could talk about where uh, there's going to be a lot of abundance and new opportunities for you. Okay. Death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. You don't even recognize yourself anymore. Um, but it's a, a, but it's it's more laid back. It's more laid back. Okay. And just accepting what's taking place so now let's look at the page of cups energy if you do have children here um air sign water sign or fire sign i see that they're in their element and they're doing very well so uh the page of cups energy let's see what this is all about you got the ten of swords The Queen of Wands reversed. And the High Priestess. Okay. The Ten of Swords talk about an ending that's taking place of everything that you have to go through. At one point, it was dark like this when you went through the dark, dark night of the soul. But the light is shining through. Okay. And you're going to be recovering. A Ten becomes a One. But... Even if it becomes a one, you still have to go through the process. And your process right now is this. It's about healing your heart chakra. And you're, you're dealing maybe with a, a, someone, or this could be you, or you're dealing with someone that's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy, whether it's a man or a woman. Someone that's very angry here. Anger, angry, or they're not having passion in their life. They're not feeling passion. They're not feeling about moving forward. And they're saying is to tap into the high priestess energy that's with you for this week where you need to tap in your wisdom is here okay your wisdom is here 
where you need to tap in about trusting your intuition. It's about trusting your intuition. And it's also, Taurus, it's about your spiritual, your spiritual gifts are enhancing. Underneath the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. And this talks about in, uh, some type of uh, money, job, or situation, even a friendship, even a relationship, or something that's starting off that has it's at the beginning stages. So you're at the beginning stage of something new, but there's something ending that has to end. So you're in the midst of it. And the past is coming up often, especially at this time that we have a lot of planets that are retrograde. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. And now we're going to go into the animal totem. Okay. Let's see what your animal totem is. You got earth warm. And it says here, you have all felt the woos of the earthworm at some point along the way. The earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field. Others around you may, may seem wise and experienced, but it's important to remember they once felt earthworm energy too. This card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope. Mastery takes time and you're on the right track. Besides, rumor has it, a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights. And when you're in balance, you are earn, uh, earnest. When you're out of balance, you have self your self-conscious. And to bring into balance, speak up. It's time to speak up, Taurus. And this is, the, your earthworm is with you for this week. Now we're going to see what crystal is with you. You got the tiger's eye. <clears throat> It says sooner or later we all we all are oh, sorry sooner or later <clears throat> we are all called upon to take action and face our fears be empowered courageous and bold even the bravest among us experience fear it matters only that you face that fear and overcome it don't let the natural instinct to avoid discomfort prevent you from relaxing some of your greatest experiences storm the Storm the proverbial castle, push open the gates, embrace your inner tiger, and stay down that fear and stay stare down that fear until it is conquered. Shift your perspective and welcome fear as an opportunity to step up, meet the challenge, and demonstrate your resilience. And your affirmation is I face fear head on. Okay, Taurus, say after me. I face fear head on. And today, begin one thing you're afraid to do. So for today, begin one thing that you're afraid to do. And so it is. So you can use the tiger's eye for this week and for as long as you want it. Okay? Now we're going to look at by, back by popular demand, the sacred geometry. And you got number 417 hertz. This is change, cleanse, traumatic experience. I cleanse myself of all traumatic experiences on a cellular level to bring me a new sense of awareness and understanding. If this card has shown up for you today, the intention is to facilitate change by helping to cleanse traumatic experiences and clear destructive influences. And your practical, uh, your practical application, I'm going to read it to you in a second. So I want to make you look at the card. Many of us have experienced some sorts of pain, whether it can be emotional, mental, or physical. Pain and trauma are, all, are subjective and expressed in many, in many different ways. Some have experienced pain through the loss of a loved one. Okay, loved one. In childbirth, through physical or sexual assault by being a war, uh, a war victim or through the loss of a job, to name just a few. Okay, in many instances, we can also gen genically carry the pain and suffering and pass it on to our children. Okay, so, um, sorry, I'm just trying to read it. And it, I do have light here, but I don't, let me see, I'm just trying to, there we go. Okay. It is so important to work towards clearing these destructive influences from our bodies as it will end up causing the 
disease and a lifetime of heartache, anger, and self-destruction. For many, this is not at an overnight fix or even a six months fix. For someone, it can take years to progress, depending on their circumstance. For whatever the reasons are, life show throws us these curveballs. To be able to work with it and help yourself overcome these experiences can give you so much strength and determination at the same time, find your hidden gift to, to then share with others and the world. The sound for this re frequency is RE. Through meditation or when you are in a in bed or even sitting in your quiet space, focus on the sound. Repeat it over and over while focusing on your intention of what you want to release and bring about for yourself. Repeat the words if you want to repeat. I cleanse myself of all traumatic experiences on a cellular level to bring me a new sense of awareness and understanding. Do you want me to repeat it again? I cleanse myself of all traumatic experiences on a cellular level to bring me a new sense of awareness and understanding. Work with the color orange when using this frequency. And the card numerology is a three. And what you will need if you want to use this, you go on YouTube, you put 417 frequency. All right, you can wear the color orange or even your, your sheet could be an orange, whatever. You could get sun, a sunstone that's orange. Or these are the, or you could also get the tangerine quartz. Okay, that will help you with this. The tangerine quartz. And you listen to it. Okay, and by doing this, you could even fall asleep to it. It will work. So this is your card. And now let's see what the quantum energy wants to tell you. This is spirit coming towards you. And spirit says that you have ascendant masters. Okay, it's Hilarion, Jesus, Buddha, or and Saint German or Germain. I don't know how you want to call him, but uh, there's many ways of saying the name. The spirit world is filled with dynamic entities who long to assist you in all areas of your life. Some of these are the, uh, the ascendant masters, those who have lived on earth plane before and now work from the energetic realm. This card is telling you to look at your life and open up to the master that, that most resonates with the solution you are seeking at this time. In the upright position, the card is bringing you the presence of a high masters of enlightenment, including Jesus, Buddha, and others of profound spiritual influence in the world. Jesus represented by the dove comes with unlimited healing power. No matter what your religious persuasion may be, he can bring you miracles, assistance with physical, mental, or emotional healing. As the master of love, he can open your heart to experiencing the unconditional love you deserve to have for yourself, and he can bring a more loving attitude to your life and your world, as well as greater compassion to and for the people around you. There are several historic figures called the Buddha, including Guatama and Sha. Shakwa Muni, represented here by the lotus, which is beauty growing out of the mud. The Buddha brings you a greater consciousness and enlightenment. Look to him for assistance in meditation and spiritual understanding and for achieving inner, inner, inner peace in difficult times. He is also the master of detachment. So if you're dealing with an addiction or obsession or any kind, even obsession or desperation concerning your goals, this would be the guidance you seek. There are just two. There are just two of the seven masters that this card brings. Open to all who can bring the spiritual wisdom that could change your life. And your affirmation, if you want to repeat after me, is. I invite the guidance and energy of and name the ascended masters you wish, and I gratefully request assistance with whatever the issue is for you. So I invite the guidance and energy of name the ascended masters here, and I gratefully request assistance with, and then you say it, and then you say, it. so it is. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Taurus. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.